Imagine you touched a metal doorknob after shuffling your rubber slippers across the rug. Zap! A bolt of mini lightning just struck you. Well, not really, but it's almost alike. While the voltage of an average static carpet shock lies in a few thousand, that of thunder lightning is in shocking millions. A regular lightning flash measures about 300 million volts and about 30,000 amps. At the same time, our household current is just 120 volts and 15 amps. Comparing the figures, you might have imagined the impact of lightning strikes on the human body. Do you really want to take that chance? Here's what if and what would happen if lightning struck you. Let's begin with the real-life story of the Spark Ranger. It is not appealing to imagine oneself being struck by lightning, but unfortunately it happened a whopping seven times for Roy C. Sullivan of USA. Roy, an ex-Park Ranger from Virginia, owns a record for being the survivor of the most lightning strikes. We hope none of you are in a hurry to break his record. He got the first lightning strike when he worked as a ranger and was hit in the right leg by a direct bolt. What followed was a series of lightning that once knocked him unconscious, and he was left with burned eyebrows. Another time his left shoulder and legs were seared, his ankles got injured and his hair was set on fire. Lastly, Roy's chest and stomach were burned when he was struck on a fishing boat trip. He died of a gunshot wound in 1983 at the age of 71. Did you know that about 100 lightning bolts strike the earth every second? Yes, in the USA alone, lightning hits the ground 25 million times yearly. Let's try to understand the nitty-gritty of these zigzag bolts and answer the flashing question, what causes lightning? The shock you experience while touching the metal doorknob is the effect of static electricity generated when two things are rubbed together and stay there for a while. When you shamble your feet on a woolly carpet, you pick up tiny bits of negative charge along the way, and when you touch any metal like the doorknob, which has a shortage of electrons, the extra electrons take this opportunity and jump from you to the knob and we, you feel the shocking sensation. What's appalling to know is that the same process on a large scale causes lightning. The clouds floating in the sky during the storm have fragments of ice in them, and when these icy particles rub with each other, they cause an electrical charge to increase inside the cloud. Some particles have a negative charge, while some are positively charged. These two opposite charges tend to pull towards each other just like a magnet. Usually, these charges are evenly balanced, but the stormy winds in the cloud cause them to separate within the cloud and generate lightning inside them. But what causes the flashes that zap from the cloud? The negative charge in the cloud settles over the lower part, and this causes a positive charge to build up in the ground beneath the cloud. This potential difference eventually causes the discharging of clouds, creating flashy, fork-shaped electric currents. Another interesting fact is that the ground's electrical charge can accumulate on anything tall, such as mountains, a single tree, or a pole. The charge from these points shoots up in the cloud so fast that lightning seems to be hitting the ground. But in reality, it's the other way around. With that being explained, let's conclude what happens inside a human body when lightning strikes. Lightning is a monstrous electrical spark that can be 8 kilometers long, followed by an earth-shaking big rattle that can be very unnerving to the ears. Each lightning bolt carries a humongous power of 80 million car batteries meaning a single bolt has energy equivalent to what is needed to light a 100-watt bulb for three months. Unfortunately, this power source does not come to light the bulbs and refill the energy needs of Earth. They are always hit with a thumping cost as they can demolish anything under their striking territory. Lightning triggers 75,000 forest fires in the U.S. each year and can split entire trees down the middle in a split second. If so, what will be the effect of lightning on us? The damage can encompass from a mild burn on your body to a ruined brain and even death. It relies on how close and unshielded you are from a lightning strike. It's a relief to hear that roughly 90% of people hit by lightning survive the situation. However, they may suffer hazardous injuries due to internal organ and nervous system damage. To understand this in detail, we must know what happens inside our body that causes lightning to enter it. Inside our body, the living tissue holds water and is a good conductor of electricity. At rest, our body generates around 100 watts of power. What is our body doing with this electric power? Our body needs electricity to send signals to internal organs like the heart. In truth, all our nerve cells generate electrical signals to transmit information. A shock from lightning not only gives rise to severe burns at the point of entry and exit, but can also lead to fatal internal damage. Lightning carries about 1 to 10 billion joules of energy. This current can break our heart's electrical rhythm, leading to cardiac arrest. It can also cause seizures and respiratory arrest, and if it enters your skull, it could result in brain damage that can push someone into a coma, or even cause temporary or permanent paralysis. Do you know what causes the heartbreaking thunder during lightning? The lightning bolt is hot, and can roast the surrounding air up to 50,000 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about five times hotter than the surface of the sun. This massive rush of hot air expansion creates a shock wave you hear as thunderclaps. Statistically speaking, if someone stands within 30 feet of a lightning point, they will experience a blast wave equal to a 5 kilogram TNT explosion. Strikes often result in brain hemorrhage or stroke, tissue injuries, and severe thermal burns within the body. 
Since bones are the most resistant part of the human body to lightning, tissue near them can suffer the worst damage. These neurological and muscle injuries may not be fatal, but they can have a prolonged impact on a person throughout the rest of their life. They are at a high risk of developing rhabdomyolysis, wherein one's muscles begin to break down, resulting in a toxic protein rushing through the bloodstream and eventually causing kidney damage. It's not surprising that eardrums suffer from hearing loss. The scorching heat and electric current can badly damage our eyes too. As the current passes inside the internal organs and moves towards the surface, it can burst red blood cells out of your capillaries into the epidermis, which might create a Lichtenberg figure on your skin. Well, that's a good reference for your next tattoo. Free of cost and permanent. Dare to have one? Jokes aside, let's move on to some tips to escape the lightning hazard when you're outside. If there's a chance of lightning, try to find a contained space, someplace with a structure around you, like a building or a house. Always avoid standing near tall objects like trees or mountains as lightning often strikes them. Besides all this, watch the weather forecast before indulging in outdoor activities. If you find somebody fainted by lightning, please remember that they still have a good chance of surviving if we provide prompt, high-quality CPR. We hope the next time you encounter lightning, these tips will help you and you will find a way out of it. But what if you're left in a vacant lot with several tall trees? Well, that's a topic for another discussion. Keep calm till we meet again in our next video. If you have some spellbinding lightning stories to share, please leave it in our comment section. Do hit that like button if you enjoyed the video and subscribe to our channel for more. Until next, stay indoors and stay safe. See you all.